all, clothes pegs are usually used for putting clothes on clothes lines, but not always. So if you have a close look at a spring clothes peg, often made of plastic, sometimes wood, but it has a very strong metal spring, and it's possible to set that just as you set a mouse trap, except you'll need a little piece of wood in order to do this, like the end of a match. Hold the jaws open, and then carefully wedge that little piece of matchstick between the jaws. There we are, and it's set. Now all we need to do to trigger it off is to somehow or other break that wooden match. The easiest way to do it is to simply light it with another match. You want to do this on a surface that won't burn. I've placed down a piece of aluminium foil. Here we go, about to trigger off a match. Watch carefully. Right, and off it went, and in fact it caught my match. There it is, that was like a, a, a little mouse trap that caught a match instead of a mouse. Well, if you think about it, it may be possible to set up one clothes peg that'll trigger off a couple of others. How? Well, I happen to have a couple that are already set here, the yellow ones, and what I'm going to do is to set up a blue one, just as I set up the pink one before, like so, but I want to do it in such a way that it won't catch my match, and to do this I'll need a, a fuse. Now, the easiest way to do this is to take a little piece of uh, one of these wire gadgets that you use to close up a plastic bag. There we are. And simply wrap that around, wrap one end of it around the little piece of match, like so. And that will actually act as a fuse so that you can light it and get out of the way. Now use that little piece of matchstick to wedge the jaws of the first clothes peg open. There we are. So that one is going to trigger off the other two. To do that, we place the other two on their sides, like this rest the ends of that clothes peg near the jaws of the two yellow ones. Now you can see what's going to happen, can't you? As the blue one triggers off, the two top ends are going to spring outwards, and if we're lucky, they may knock the matches out of the way from the yellow jaws, uh, from the jaws of the yellow um, clothes pegs, and those two may, may trigger off and jump. Let's see if it works. So to begin with, we need to light the fuse. Here we go. It's a small chain reaction. fuse is burning and that'll continue to burn until it goes up to the match which is holding the jaws apart. <laughs> and that's just three clothes pegs. Let's have a look at a chain of 21. So when the blue clothes peg goes off it should trigger the two yellow ones which in turn will trigger two green ones. They'll in turn trigger four pink ones. They'll set off four white ones, and they will set off the eight orange pegs. OK, here's the chain reaction. They may not all go off, but let's see how many of them do when we light the fuse. Well, that was 21 clothes pegs. You try it with about 50. 